What's up, family? All right, so I came across this story a few days ago, and I want to share this with y'all. You got a black cop in New York City who tweeted, Black Lives Matter. <laughs> now, you know all hell broke loose. It went like this, y'all. An officer with the New York Police Department's 76th precinct is in hot water with her superiors after she reportedly replied to a department Twitter post with the hashtag Black Lives Matter. <laughs> officer Gwendolyn Bishop is black and the New York Daily News reports that she was hit with departmental charges and accused of inappropriately writing on the 76 Precinct Twitter page in response to a February 17, 2016 post about a gun arrest by an NYPD special ops team in her precinct. The tweet from the 76 Precinct read, Special Ops Team makes arrest and recovers a loaded 9mm handgun, hashtag one less gun, to which Bishop replied, Sad day for the 76 Precinct, Black Lives Matter. <laughs> the remarks were posted under Bishop's personal account, Duck Lips and Dimples, which has since been taken down. Attorney John Tienan, who represents Bishop, said she had used the Blue Lives Matter hashtag in two of the three previous posts. Tienan said that Bishop has not violated any of the NYPD's social media rules because she did not access the official 76 Precinct Twitter account, and her replies were made from her personal Twitter account. She can reply to a tweet just as the 500 million others who use Twitter can, Tina said. The NYPD has strict guidelines about who can post what onto the precinct's official page, as well as the contents in the post. Until now, officers were allowed to use social media with relatively free reign. Many openly identified themselves as NYPD employees and post photos of themselves in uniform. Under the new guidelines, though, Officers are urged not to disclose or allude to their status as doing so could undermine their credibility and make them ineligible for more secretive positions. The rules also warn officers against tagging photos of their colleagues, though they are allowed to post photos taken at police ceremonies. Among the edict's more obvious provisions is a stipulation that prohibits officers from posting photos of crime scenes or information about witnesses. Police are prohibited from engaging with witnesses or defense lawyers on social media sites and cannot friend or follow minors. Violating any of these rules, the NYPD says, could result in disciplinary action or termination. Members of the service utilizing personal social media sites are to exercise good judgment and demonstrate the same degree of professionalism expected of them while performing their official duties, the order reads. Okay, so what the what a lawyer is saying is that first and foremost, whatever she did, she did on her personal Twitter account, and she wasn't in violation. She got the right to say what she wanted to say, just as anybody else that's on Twitter. Now. The department is saying, hey, man, we got a problem with you saying this Black Lives Matter thing, you know. Uh, hey, it was cool with the Blue Lives Matter, but when you say Black Lives Matter, that's a problem. So, I'm trying to figure this out. Why didn't she get in trouble when she said Blue Lives Matter? Because the Blue Lives Matter was a phrase that was coined in response to Black Lives Matter. So that's a lightning rod topic also. That's a topic that's, that phrase is controversial. So why didn't they reprimand her for using the Blue Lives Matter tag? Of course we know the answer to that. Because in their mind, that's all that matters. I know some of y'all really thinking out there, some of y'all that hadn't really been affected by 
cops running around here killing people. Y'all think they for you. Y'all think y'all think that they're out there fighting for you, for y'all. But that ain't the case. When it come all the way down to it, they are riding for who's on that, that side of the wall. They don't give a damn. If, if, hey, man, maybe they'll put, they put you before me, but they damn sure ain't putting you before them and the people that's on the other side. At the end of the day, if they make any kind of mistake, any lapse in judgment, and they violate you or yours, you better believe they're going to fucking show you that wall of silence. They're going to show you that blue wall of silence. And so I'm looking at the, uh, the fact that had she just posted Blue Lives Matter, we wouldn't even be having this discussion. But you know how it go. Boy, when you say Black Lives Matter, when you anybody that says that Black Lives Matter is, is important, man, you, it, it, it alludes that you, it alludes to the fact that you care about black people. And God forbid you care about black people in America. Your ass is grass. They're going to come after you. You better not do nothing to support black people in America. You better not be out there doing nothing talking about saving a black life. Are you crazy? This is America. We ain't trying to hear all of that. <laughs> now, when I first read this, I was like, ooh, she a soldier. She clowning. That, that's, that takes some balls. And then, as I read into it, there she go backpedaling. She said that, okay, so here's the thing. Her tweets read, sad day for the 76th precinct, Black Lives Matter. Sad day for the 76th precinct, Black Lives Matter. So she's saying it's, it's a sad day. All they did was recover the damn gun. And so to me, that sounds like a knock on the precinct. So with that knock, uh, it just seems like if she knocking him, then Black Lives Matter would be appropriate. But then I could, could see her saying it's a sad day and then just reiterating Blue Lives Matter and saying that was a mistake. The thing is this, she said that she meant to type Blue Lives Matter. I can see that I can see that happening, but because she backpedaling and she black and she won't stand up for that hashtag and just say, you know what, black lives do matter. What's the problem with that? You know, and I'm gonna sue you motherfuckers if y'all try to make a big deal out of it. That's what she could do. Come back and get on their ass like that because obviously they're being biased. They don't have a problem with the blue lives matter hashtag, but they got a problem with the black lives matter hashtag. So that's a clear case of biasness. That's a clear case where they are discriminating. So she can definitely get at them for that. But I just lost all respect for when she said that she tried to type blue lives matter and they came after her for typing black lives matter. Even if she did want to say Blue Lives Matter because she is a cop, even if she did want to say that, once they attacked her for saying Black Lives Matter, she should have been, got offended and just went crazy on their ass. Wait a minute, what the fuck? Yeah, Black, yeah, Blue Lives Matter, but you, but Black Lives Matter too, motherfucker. That's what she should have been saying. But now nah, she she had an opportunity to make that right, and she didn't. She blew a big chance to stand up for something that means something, you know. Now, we can get into semantics, you know, Black Lives Matter and all that stuff and who who founded it and all that. I ain't getting into all of that. I'm talking about at its core, the meaning Black Lives Matter is just saying that we want equality for black people. We want black people to be treated, you know, with the same respect as you treat other people. That's it. That's at its core. That's the meaning of that at its core. Now, here's the deal. They said that she was mouthing off. Uh, this is language that you use for little children. 
being smart, mouthing off. They say she was mouthing off at her superiors. Who the hell says a woman, a grown ass woman is mouthing off? She's a grown ass woman. She's telling you how she feel. Now maybe she was being disrespectful. Maybe you can say she was being disrespectful. You know, maybe you can say that she was being belligerent, but mouthing off, that's, that's playground kindergarten type language. So that right there, you know, the, the lawyer should have had an issue with that. He should have took issue with that. Uh, so in that regard, in my mind, this is stupid on all accounts. Um, the New York Police Department, uh, they later, you know, they, they, they're notorious, you know, for being racist. Let's just say what it is. They're notorious for being racist. Keep in mind, these are the same people who, who thought stop and frisk was a good idea. And they were going out there disproportionately stopping and frisking blacks and Latinos and harassing people and just throwing cases on people left and right. Just, it wasn't even a matter of inconvenience. There was just infringing on, infringing on people's rights. And they thought that that was cool. So this is the NYPD. So let's make sure that we understand the beast that we're dealing with. But I did receive an update from the NYPD. Uh, let me get that. Okay. So, yeah. So it went like this. Uh, the NYPD just... Uh, Okay, so here it is, y'all. Uh, the NYPD later followed up with their statement with an addendum. Uh, addendum. They have an addendum to their statement. They say, the N this is from the NYPD. Just to be perfectly clear, the NYPD absolutely believes that black lives do not matter. Just in case there was any confusion. <laughs> no more talk.